Finding distance of two points. If you have two points on the coordinate plane, let's say I have a point here and uh, this point here, and I have a point here, these two points, and I want to find the distance of these two. The distance is a line like this, the shortest, the shortest space, the shortest line that you can draw between these two. So from here to here, the distance of these two points, we can use this formula, d equals to. So for these two, let's say we have two points, x1, x2, uh, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So we have these two points. If you have these two points, then the formula is this. You can use this formula. Say x2 minus x1. So that one is x1. So x2 minus minus x1 inside the parentheses squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now let's just uh, try these two points. This point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the value of this point, let's say it is a and this one is b. The value of a for the coordinate, the order part of a is x is 6 and y is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that one is y, that one is x. For this one b, b is 2 and 1. So x is 2 and y is 1. So to find the distance of these two, where we said d equals to square root of so x2, let's say this one is x2 and this one is x1. This one is y2 and this one is y1. So x2 is 6 minus 2 squared plus and here we have 4. y2 is 4 minus 1 squared. 4 minus 1 squared. So the square of this, the result is 6 minus 2 is 4. Square it. 4 times 4 is 16. Minus, uh, plus, here the sign is plus. Then 4 minus 1 is 3. Square is 9. So 16 plus 9 is 25. So root 25 is the answer. And root of 25 means that a number that multiplied by itself, you get 25. Root 25 is 5. So the distance of these two is 5. Let's take a look at these examples. One way is just using this formula easily. Just plug in the values and then solve them. Another way to think about it, just draw the square line and these two, the x's, these two x's, these two. If you, in the parentheses here, we have x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1 means that the distance of these two. So 6 to negative 4, if you have 6 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 2 is here. What is the distance of these? Negative uh, is 6 to negative 2 on the number line. The distance of these two is 8. Square it. Multiply by itself, you get 64. Plus. Next one. 2 to negative 4. 2 to negative 4. So 2 is for y. 2 is here. And negative 4 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The distance of these is 6. Square it or multiply by itself, you get 36. 64 plus 36 is 100. The root of 100 is just 10. This is another way to solve it. So you can use the formula, but you can just imagine the distance of these two, the distance of x's and distance of y's. Square them and then add them under the square root, you get the answer. Let's just use the formula for this one. Let's say this one is x1, y1, and this one is x2, y2. Now, x1, here we have x2 minus x1. x2 is negative 3. 
minus x1 is just 0 square plus and y2 is negative 5 negative 5 minus negative 1 and then a square so here negative 3 minus 0 is just negative 3 square is 9 so negative 3 times negative 3 is just 9 so the root is 9 plus negative 5 minus negative 1 is negative 5 plus 1 which is negative 4 square means that negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 9 plus 16 is 25 the root of 25 is just 5 you could use another that method that we read before you could just say that distance of these two negative 3 to 0 is just negative 3 squared it is 9 plus negative 5 to negative 1 the distance is just 4 negative 5 is here and negative 1 is here if you find the distance is just 4 squared it is 16 so the root of 25 is just 5 one more example here it's negative 3 0 3 8 so negative 3 0 and 3 8 the distance of these two is just 6 because negative 3 is here and then positive 3 is here so it is 6 the distance is 6 square it negative uh, the distance is 6 the square is 36 plus 0 to 8, 0 to 8 is just 8. Square root is 64. Add them up, 64 plus 36 is 100, and root of 100 is just 10. Next one, same method, negative 3 to 2. So the distance of negative 3 to 2 is 5, because negative 3 is here and 2 is here. So if you count, you get 5. 5 squared is 25 plus negative 2 to 10 the distance is 12 the square is 145 145 and 25 is root 169 which is 13 if you use a calculator you can find it 13 the distance of these two 13 the distance of these two just write it here 4 to negative 5 is 9 square it is 81 plus negative 4 to negative 16 the distance is just 12 negative 4 to negative 16 the distance is 12 squared is 144 now if you use a calculator and add this two up you get 125 uh, you get 225 the root of 225 which is 15 so the answer is 15 for this again here a 5 to negative 3 is 8 square root get 64 negative 2 to 4 is 6 square root 36 plus 36 and it's root 100 which is 10 